Any luck finding out how rivets it? Good hunting. Good luck with that. Welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am Doc Hoff, procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? I provide food, drinks, and discreet chemicals to discerning customers around the wasteland. I help ease the suffering of my fellow man for a prize. I don't have a home office exactly, but I organize much of my trade with Ernest Rowe in Canterbury Commons. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we? Another satisfied customer. See you next time.
flying high oh. from this! Thank you.
time to die! Now you went and got me back! Never stop us! What do you need? Another satisfied cut later.
like you've been through hell. You're a cocky little thing, aren't you? I like that. Well, as much as I want to hear all about it, can you tell me a full debrief on what happened out there with my men? I'm very impressed at your skill. I don't think I've come across someone quite like you in the ruins. I suppose I owe you a debt, and I intend to pay it in kind. I'm sure you're more interested in your reward than listening to me talk, so let me get right to it. Losing a bit of the Merc Edge, eh? Don't get soft on me now. Well, I've said it once, but I'll say it again. You have my thanks. I'd be pretty lost without my guys. So, for your reward, what'll it be? The Ranger Battle Armor, or one of Brick's miniguns? The armor it is. Wear it with pride, kid. We do. Consider this place your home away from home. If you're ever in the neighborhood again, you're more than welcome to take shelter here. I guess that does it. See you around, kid. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for this kind of job anymore. I almost got everyone killed in Vernon Square. What kind of a responsible leader does that? 
It was one bad decision after another. Yeah, but I led the guys right into a corner. Theo died because I decided to take shelter in the hospital. I'm not so sure I'd be trusted leading anyone at this point. Thanks. You're sweet to try and make me feel better about everything. I just hope that I can get back to mapping the ruins soon. I have a lot of contacts that are demanding I finish. You'd risk your neck for me like that? Well, okay. I hadn't expected this, but I'll certainly take you up on it. Oh, and I insist on paying you. I won't take no for an answer. For every map marker you uncover in the Capital Wasteland, I'll pay you a fair sum in bottle caps. All you have to do is find them. Come back here and I'll get them off your Pip-Boy there. Here, take this geomapper. Please don't lose it. Donovan spent a year developing it and I only have a few. It will offload all the map data you collect from your Pip-Boy automatically. When you come back, I can take the data from it and you get paid. Hey there. Got anything good for me? Well, I've been feeling a little more confident now that I have you mapping for us. I think we'll head out into the ruins and do some search and destroy to ease back into things. Hmm. You need to actually collect some new data before I can pay you. We already have all these locations in the system. Let me give you a word of advice. Stay away from them. They give Mercs a bad name. They have no morals, no remorse, and wouldn't hesitate to put a bullet through a defenseless man's head if it meant a job. They've been pretty active lately around the old Capitol building ruins. I'd recommend giving that area a wide berth. Yeah, we've crossed paths. Fortunately, we just stepped out of each other's way. Brick almost turned it into a damn bloodbath when one of them spit on her boots. But I was able to hold her back. Hope you find what you're looking for. Nice to see you again. self again. We've been vaporizing hostels like there's no tomorrow. Kick some muty ass for me, kid. Why don't you look where you're going?
Something need fix? Oh, wow, well... Riley snapped out of a slump now that you're mapping for the Rangers. Now we go out and kick ass like the old days. Hoorah! Well, let me see what I can do about that. Come on back soon. Relax. Morning. You're a real hero the way you handled the ghouls. Must admit, you did good, soldier. I'm glad to have you around. I guess. Give me a shout if you need anything. Watch yourself. Can I help you? Now, how did you get past the guard? The ghoul? He's dead. Died 20 years ago. Good riddance, too. I hate those shufflers. Who cares? I hired some mercenaries to get me some equipment from Fort Constantine. He was one of them. Of the five, only three survived. You'll have to ask one of them if you want the gory details. He's alive? I should have known. It's hard to kill those zombies. You've got to shoot him in the head. Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. You mercenaries are so reliably predictable. 100 now, 200 when the job is done.
you'd better not cause any more trouble. Can I help you? I'm sure glad to have you around. That Gustavo is a real loser compared to you. Business is still good. Later then. yourself. You cause any more trouble and you'll be dead. Can I help you? Comrade! Hero of the people! Hello! Until next time, comrade! You're a real hero the way you handled the ghouls. Dookie doesn't like me to wear a lot. He says it slows things down. He's all right. He can be a real fun guy, but he sure knows how to wear a girl out. Most of all, I'm safe here. I wouldn't pull out a weapon, even just to show him. He gets kind of paranoid about that. Don't get in a shooting match with him. He's really good. Sweet for him, maybe. I'm just along for the ride. He's good with a gun and knows where to get booze. It's, well, it's Dukov's place. He lives here. Pretty much, he just does a lot of drinking and partying. 
Bye. Hi, sweetie. I'm Cherry. What can I do for you? Dukov likes to keep it hot. Ain't no need for nothing else. You've got to do something for me first. I can't live like this anymore. You take me to Rivet City, and I'll get your key. Let me pack my bags. Oh, wait. I don't have any. Let's get out of here. Dookie, you promised to take me to Rivet City to go shopping. Maybe next week, babe. We've got enough liquor to last for a while. That's the only thing that's important. <laughs> What you doing? Here's the key. He never even noticed. Honey? Hi there, fella. He gives me some caps, but it's not what you think. He can be a nice guy. And when the lights go out, he's real fun. <laughs> yeah, see you. Serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have it. I can just have it. For free? My... Thank you. Thank you so much. You've saved my life. Bless you. didn't think you would. Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Don't let it go to your head. Seriously, though, thank you for getting me away from Dukov. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Research, huh? I can't help you there. But you're free to ask around inside. Just don't start any trouble. Are those rumors still floating around? Look, I don't have time for swapping ghost stories with you. Pinkerton's a legend, dead or long gone. Don't care much, as I've got real people to take care of. Go bother someone else. I suppose. The door on the left goes to the stairwell. From there, just keep heading west. We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. Carry on, then. Hello? Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyerlurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. Then you are in for a treat. I know a lot of places opened up when they got the hydroponics bay working, but that's hardly the start of it all, is it? Actually, Vera Weatherly might know more. She's always here and talking with folks, so if anyone's picked up a story or two, it'd be her. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Hello. I am Father Clifford of St. Monica's Church. She is the patron saint of lost children, very popular among the faithful of Rivet City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. Yes, my flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. 
Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. Saint Monica bless you. Hey there. I'm Diego, the acolyte for Saint Monica's. Saint Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about Saint Monica. I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders until someone cleared the whole place out, but I don't really know for sure. God bless you. To the ca quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me and the Society's collection here. Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. I can't believe you have that artifact in your possession. What an amazing addition it would make to the museum. I will buy it from you for 100 caps. What do you say? Very well, but I doubt anyone else will appreciate its value as much as I do. In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful, the place is swarming with super mutants. Here. Let me pinpoint its location for you. It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council after all. Be careful. The archives are infested with who knows what. Run into you before. 
You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. What do you want? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Yeah? What do you want? The Muddy Rudder. Bell waters down the liquor, but it's cheap. It's on the lower deck. Stay away from me! What do you want? Are you... one of them? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. Really? Oh, thank you. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. Thank you. I'll go to Flack and Shrapnel's just before closing. I don't have anything to give you, but I think I can trust you with a secret. If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. Evening. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please, tell me. I'd really like to know. Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help this kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Yes, if we are able, but there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Tell you what, you deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead, and you can consider yourself a member in good standing. You know what you need to do. I'll be right with you. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. She treats him like crap. I think it's because she drinks too much. It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. You mean like hitting on me? 
No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Yeah, right. I don't think I could get him drunk enough to do that. I wish I had some amp pheromones. Trini says they would make any man lose control. Here's a man. I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Hello, sir. Hey there. Yes? Dad, my ship's over. Please excuse me. I'm going to do some shopping. There's much work to be done. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Don't you believe the rumors? His ghost is certainly not haunting the bow of this ship. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Oh, re If someone took... I'm not... I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. You mean Genius Boy? Yeah, I've heard of him. Supposedly built Rivet City. They probably think he invented bread, too. Idiots. Lately, he's even been blamed for the noises in the broken ship bow. Anyone with half a brain would know that's just the Meyer lurks. What you looking for? History? Fuck if I know. Hell, fuck if I care. Come back soon. We always got a lot of ammo and stuff. It's locked for a reason. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Straight to the point, I like... Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room... Well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Now, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. Never met the man myself, but rumor has it he helped found Rivet City. Some rumors say he died trying to loot the broken bow of the ship. Others say he joined up with the Enclave. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Disgusting, isn't it? 
Someone should talk to that boy. He has no business hanging around that tramp if he's going to be a priest. Come back soon. Ideas. Welcome to a... This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. No, no, no. I would never do that. Polly does. Sample it, I mean. He's my deadbeat husband. He's hopeless. I have to keep him away from the shop, or I'll rob us blind. One of these days, he's going to end up dead. Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? But I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't be able to stay away from my cuisine for long. Yeah, he comes by every night around closing time and tries to get Cindy to let him close up. Thank God she's smarter than that. Yeah, I know. Thank God he's a priest. At least I know nothing's going on between them. Father Clifford would kick him out of the priesthood if he ever found out. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. This place could... I'm busy. Hey there. Henry's my husband. I have a daughter, CJ, too. You'll see her running around here with James Hargrave. That poor child. His mother, Tammy Hargrave, is a very troubled woman. She spends too much time down in the muddy rudder, drinking and using foul language. I feel so sorry for him. I think CJ is a good influence on him, but I do worry about the two of them. Oh, I don't know about that. For all I know, it's had survivors on it since the war. I'm just thankful it's here. Maybe if you ask Bannon. He's been simply wonderful on the council, so I'm sure he'd be glad to help with your question. Goodbye. Yeah, I've got a lot of repairs to make. Hey. Hey there. troublemaking brat. I'd sell them to you if they'd let me. Unless you've got any more personal questions, I'm busy. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. You'll be searching for an android. Do you know what an android is? No, I imagine you don't. All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. Not in the Commonwealth. I'm talking about artificial persons that think and feel and do what we program them to. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off.
What? Let me see that. This is a neuro servo, unique to the A321. I... And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Now, well, damn it! I was afraid this would happen. Out here in this, this... wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. Mm, that's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. Any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chem. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Yeah, me too. If you want something better than that pea shooter, stop by Flack and Shrapnels. I'm sure that was just luck. You should upgrade. Check out our shop in the market. Hey, he's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Bye. This is not a safe place for your soul. Do not- Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? Now that's what I like in a man. Enough caps to buy a lady a drink. Can't help you with the history, honey. You're lost, sugar. Come and see me again sometime. Not be tempted by the sins of vile- May Saint Monica bless you. Yes, I know. I've been counseling him for some time now. He used to go stand on the observation balcony all afternoon. He's down to only an hour or so at three o'clock. Saint Monica bless you. Yeah. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. I'm Bell Bonnie. And this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order, or what? Oh yeah. He's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron are you? But fine. It'll get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. What the hell do you want? Go talk to V. I'll be. This is not a safe place for your soul. Do not be tempted by the sins of vile liquor in this den of iniquity. Hey. Hello.
careful. How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going! Ha! <laughs> Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the mire lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. And hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. The secret kind. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. <laughs> I'm a guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha! <laughs> Project Purity, indeed. What a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. Don't let your guard down. Hey.
I'm on duty. Make it quick. Bye. Hello. Ted Strayer. You can chill with me if you want, dude. No point in getting all worked up. I get three squares, I got a place to crash, and nothing's trying to eat me. Whoa, that's a blast from the past. My dad knew a dude named Crowley. I never met him, though. I think dad said he died when they were checking out some old fort. Whoa, is it, like, worth caps? Cause I got needs, man. I'm gonna be flying high tonight. You want something? See you a lot. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us. For the Wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it, with our thanks. Certainly, it's the least I could do after all you've done. Hey, any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it! Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads, but it should be fine. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. So cynical. No, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? Now you should just lie back and bask in the praise for helping with the book. Oh, it's great! Why, with the information here, we'll save hundreds of lives, maybe even thousands. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But first, here, the very first copy of our book goes to you! I couldn't have done it without you, my wasteland survival expert. Sure thing. Good hunting. See ya.
Hello. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I think I've seen you in here before. When you're ready to buy, just let me know. Come back soon. You're my hero, mister. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Whatever. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. So, dude, you got your... Later, dude. Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Yeah, 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 you're my hero. Don't let it go to your head. Seriously, though, thank you for getting me away from Duo. God bless you, and keep you safe. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. Well, I will be as soon as Father Clifford. Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. Father Clifford says she is my trial, my temptation. I must choose between her and the church. I have chosen the church. What are you... I swear to you, our relationship is chaste. I am only her friend. However, I must confess, I have not done all I could. I am sorely tempted. You have given me new resolve. I will tell Angela we cannot see each other again, even as friends. Father God. May Saint Monica bless you. Saint Mon some tables and chairs. I'm sure she'll just... I'm expecting great things. Quite a nice specimen you have there. How about I give you ten caps for it? Thanks much. Pennies, eh? That's the old money they used long ago. Well, any artifact from American history would benefit the museum. How about fifteen caps for the lot of them? Thanks much. An actual recording of Lincoln's voice? Amazing! Please, allow me to compensate you for it. I'll pay you 60 caps. Thanks much. Interesting. I'd love to have that in the museum's collection. I will buy it from you for 70 caps. What do you say? Thanks much. Be careful. Everything looks okay here. 